Okay, guys, when, you, um, when you're going to put the traveler onto the back crossbar of the Hobie 16, remember, some boats may have the traveler on, some boats will not have the traveler on. It'll already be on the crossbar. Okay, in this instance, traveler we're going to take and we're going to put onto the back crossbar. Bearing in mind, the boat we're looking at here has got an integrated back crossbar. Some of the older boats might have the older track system. So what we're going to do with this particular one, we're going to pop it onto the back crossbar and we're going to slide the car into the center of the back crossbar. Okay, from there, with our rope that was coiled up neatly after our last sail, we're just going to unravel it and you can throw it on the boat. There's always a loose end to this. So you've got a loose piece of sheet which you're going to have. I want you to take that, stand at the back of the boat, and once you're standing at the back of the boat, the main cleat which is attached to the back crossbar is going to be facing up the middle of the boat. So you want that facing up the middle. And all we're going to do now is we're going to work through all the holes. So we're going to take that tail, we're going to go through the hole, which is the fair lead on top of the, what is known as a cam cleat. And we're going to go through the next fair lead, so through the next hole. And from there, we are going to go through the middle of what is known as the traveler. So that comes through the middle of the traveler, as we have there. And then from there, that goes onto the back of the crossbar, okay, like that. So all we've done, and as you can see, we've gone through the cam cleat, through the fair lead, through the traveler, and onto the back fair lead. At this point, pull it through. This point, pull it through. And what we're going to do is make a figure of eight knot, which is known as a stopper knot. So. Those of you who are right-handed, bring right onto left hand, and there your figure of eight starts to develop. Take it round, and you bring it back in, and we create our figure of eight. There it is there, and you pull that tight. And as you can see, if you go back down to the end, that becomes your stopper knot. All right, that's your stopper knot. And you see it runs through the traveler, through the fair lead, through the cleat. And that's our, our car and our traveler, which is on. Now, to get the main sheet loose, what you're going to do, we've pulled the two blocks together, the top block and the bottom block. You're going to ease the sheet. And you'll see that sheet comes through the middle. Just follow it through the cleat there. You follow it through the cleat over there. And it goes through the block, the middle of the block, and it comes out the other end. All you do now is you pull that bit of sheet loose, you grab the top block in your two fingers and you can pull it loose. Bear in mind that's the part that cleat there or that shackle is going to then attach to the top of the boom. That you can just lie on the back now because everything is rigged up as you have it here. An addition that I put into my boats and those of you who are sailing a lot in big surf and particularly big beginner sailors and you're worried about your sheet always being washed off the back of the boat I attach a piece of bungee with a pulley with a very basic clip on the one end of that bungee and I take that and what I do is I take that and I clip it into the middle of the trampoline lacing and there it is there and what that essentially does is it keeps your sheet on the boat when you're going through big surf.